Students have been hitting Cambridge hard this week as they attempt to compensate for our reputation as stuffy, boring nerds by getting as violently drunk as possible. Spending several nights trawling through the Cambridge's expansive club scene, we encountered a number of rakish young scallywags on the streets. And with this rather interesting display on the streets last night, we at CUTV have decided to lend a hand. We're nothing if not charitable, like Bono after a few drinks. So we asked the panelists to see if they could provide any advice for freshers who are starting this year. Anybody got any ideas? Don't be fooled by positions of power. The JCL president does not have automatic pulling rights. <laughs> and they're your supervisors. <laughs> Never eat shredded wheat. Oh. <laughs> it's a good so, one. Crucial yeah, yeah. Yeah. Girls, don't be afraid to tell the Cambridge sex attacker to wear a condom. <laughs> he hasn't really raped anyone. He just runs up to girls and touches them and then runs off again. <laughs> oh no, no. I could take it. <laughs> also, there's a, um, there's a singing bin on Bridge Street. I've seen the singing bin. Person. What? It's incredible. There's very important advice here, which is oh, okay. seriously, never open the bin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have you opened the bin? I have. <laughs> Did it scar you? Yes. <laughs> why, why? I've heard of this. I'm intrigued. It's, it's a little bin. It's just something. There are two like... arms sticking out of the bin. And like... guitar. Whether the two arms are attached to anything, we don't know. But so just yeah. a man sitting in a bin. Yeah, it's just we a man sitting so. in a bin. Yeah. It's a tramp sitting in a bin. It's not a man. It's not really that exciting. It's really. not a man. No. Is it the Cambridge sex attack? Is that how it works? <laughs> he just sneaks up in a bin. <laughs> Does anyone have any advice on nicknames for freshers? What? Oh, tr try Is not to get one. No. Yes. Don't get one, I would say. What, do you mean advice on picking one? Advice on like, <laughs> critiquing them? <laughs> you don't want to pick your nickname. That's well, never I know cool. someone who did pick his nickname. Danny, Danny Big, Big Dick. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> good like that, it was just someone <laughs> said to him, you look like you should be called Algernon, so now he is called Algernon. He introduced himself to everyone in Freshers Week as Algernon. His name is actually Dominic. Oh, fair enough. Hi, <laughs> Dominic. Not a nickname, it's just a new name. Yes, that's it. Him Dominic. <laughs> You're right, this is more of a name than a nickname. It's just that's reinventing it. yourself. Right, brilliant. So brilliant. At the end of that round, Team Clark came out on top and awarded a three-point turn. Congratulations. Right, we're moving on now to the phone hacking round. In an effort to uncover the most exciting stories of the past week, our researchers have adopted the techniques of the modern press and begun listening to answering machine messages of the good, the bad, and in the case of the mayor of London, the unintell unintelligible. Right, there's, <laughs> there's, some, there's some irony for you there. <laughs> BBC, I can do it all. Watch me now. Easy. And then tell it about that. <laughs> right, Team Clark and Team May have listened to this message that I'll be reading out to you, recorded a few days ago. See if you can identify the people involved and decipher the topic of the recording. Here's your message. Hi, Beep. It's Beep here. Just wanted to leave you a quick toodle about your role with the new regime. The plebs may want the bearded orator, but I can assure you that the UK government will do everything in its power to make sure the election turns in your favour. Now you must remember, this is predominantly a ceremonial role. The old guard are still in charge. Although I know you'd be the first to raise my penchant for the submissive position. Anywho, send my regards to the rest of the dynasty. Bye, Zs. So, so any, any thoughts, to... anybody? Um, it's either the Arab Spring or... I, I'm going to go for the fact that they might be the Chancellor elections for Cambridge. Um, the bearded orators, the bearded orators, bearded orators yeah. yes. <laughs> yes. Of course, Brian Blessed did rule Egypt for 40 years, so um, there's some similarities there. Um, so, so this is, um, this is going to be um, David Cameron and George Osborne. Talking. What? Talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So, no, it's the same Saying, yes, I don't think it'll be up to date with this whole chance or election. I'm not saying they're, they're up for election, I'm saying they're talking about it. I reckon, because of the penchant for the uh, submissive position. Okay. Yes, yeah, that's, oh, that's yeah, true. That's there is a slight flaw in that neither of them have beards. But, yeah, well, no, that's but the they do like getting bummed. They do yeah. love getting bummed <laughs> so much. They claim more so than they can. Oh, yeah. Well, they claim receipts, obviously, so. Yeah. It's just be a bit from Spooks, because I missed the last episode, so. Yes, it, well, it could be. Yes, yes. Probably not, though. I've never watched Spooks. 
nice now. Do, do we think, think uh, do we think the Arab Spring's over? Do we think it's going to spread anywhere or? It's now autumn, so yeah. Yeah. obviously yeah. 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 It'd be a bit awkward, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be, it would be. They would have to change the name. It'd be the Arab year. It'd be the Arab yeah. 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 Well, the thing is, there is still, there was all the thing about, um, so, you know, Gaddafi fell in Libya and Cameron was all like, yay, we did that, well done us. And it's like, <laughs> there's still people being massacred in Syria. Like, yeah, well, you know, there are that. those people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Libya! <laughs> I think Cameron really has uh, been able to take the credit for this one, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh, there was some um, when uh, so when Gaddafi fell, and there was some picture in all the newspapers of uh, uh, a Libyan man who had like a picture of David Cameron and Sarkozy, uh, saying like "Thank you so much," and I was just like. Don't encourage him. He thinks he can save the world now. Do we think it's right that it costs, I think it's going to cost tens of billions of pounds, our Libya intervention? Do you think that's right? Because, I mean, David Cameron, just recently in his speech at the Tory conference, he used the line, uh, we've got to shed our can't-do attitudes about the economy, which is akin to being told by a rapist to man up. <laughs> you know? One of those horrible, horrible lines that David Cameron used. But he is a leader. He's a leader. He's a natural man, unlike Red Ed. It did, it did cost... And a billion to invade Libya. But something that not a lot of people seem to have noticed is that we only help out countries which have a lot of oil. <laughs> so we may well <laughs> recoup our costs there. <laughs> You're the first, Pete. I've never got that full. <laughs> no, well, I'm glad I'd sort of widened everyone's horizons there. You're, You're a great, great luminary. I know, I know. But I will be when I've got my oil. Hang <laughs> on, there's <laughs> oil in Iraq. <laughs> no. <laughs> and drugs in Afghanistan. <laughs> Um, and Team Clark, you seem to think it's the Chancellor election. I do, I do. Um, well, because on the one side, you've got Lord Sainsbury, who of course represents an evil establishment, mm. uh, making the most of weak and vulnerable people. And on the other hand, you've got that shopkeeper from down the road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's such a hero, though. He is, <laughs> like, he is, you, yes. You cannot have my shop, you cannot have my shop. I will take the universe, <laughs> I will take my shop. <laughs> Uh, yes, congratulations, congratulations to Team Clark, that is correct. This is actually a story about the election on the 14th and 15th of October to the university's chancellorship. Baron Sainsbury of Turville has made significant donations to the University of Cambridge, including for the eponymous Plant Science Centres, after he mistakenly thought that the Cambridge BA was short for Cambridge Basics. <laughs> he would have had unanimous support of the student body had he learned from his family's retailer, Jay Sainsbury's, and made his election slogan, Making life taste better. Brian Blessed's booming voice would have helped in the most important of public roles, starting Cesarean Sunday. You always need a fat man throwing a pig's head around. Mill Road shopkeeper Abdul Arain would have helped bridge the town-gown divide and improve the social mixing of spoons on a Friday night before the inevitable trips to Addenbrooke's, of course. Uh, so yeah, at the end of that round, the winners are Team Clark, who've earned themselves a swollen sense of achievement. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. 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 I true. feel pretty, pretty bloated right now, so yeah. <laughs> I also feel quite good about myself. Good. You shouldn't. <laughs> you don't look it. <laughs> As proceedings draw to a close, we've just got enough time for one more final quickfire round, which is called That's So Not Cambridge, where panellists tell us what they think it might be like if Cambridge was, well, nothing like it is at all. So now, I'd like to hear things which you'd never hear, or chat up lines that you'd never hear in Cindy's. Don't let my dancing fool you. I really am having a stroke. <laughs> I'm Brian Blessed. <laughs> Hi. I couldn't help noticing your boobs. <laughs> I just wanted to say, your first essay was excellent. <laughs> Superb, thank you. Well done, everyone. At the end of the round, the winners are Team Clark, who have won every single round, I think, today, embarrassingly for Team May. And you are awarded the right to bear arms. Congratulations. What a haul it's been. And unfortunately, that's all we can fit in today. So that's goodbye from me. Goodbye from Team Clark. Goodbye. Goodbye from Team May. Goodbye. And hopefully we'll see you all next week. Thank you very much. This has been Blow Me. It's the news. Bye. <laughs>